Alright, we're gonna need some Ooglis. <laughs> this is my second try doing this. Alright. Hopefully I won't suck it at this time. Alright, so we're just gonna throw the, um, the middle bomb into the left head and then walk forward. And that's, like, pretty simple. Um, and then now we're gonna target from left to right here. Grab both of these. Okay, and so what I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to target this bomb on the right. So that basically, um, these bombs are gonna end up on the ground. Uh, whenever I pull up my boomerang. Like, one of them is gonna end up on the ground naturally, and one of them I'm gonna be holding. But as soon as I pull out the boomerang, it'll just follow the ground. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna target the bomb on the right, walk a little bit to the right, and then just, like, I'll let go of and press ZL once again to target the, the Baba head or whatever. And then I will um, go ahead and throw. So like that, basically. And now this is set up for second phase. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold ZL and back in a, to the left a little. I'm going to start spamming the boomerang button, basically. And I'm just going to throw the boomerang. So neither of these are actually going to hit the head or explode. Okay, and then I'm going to walk back to the fourth plank, to the right side of it. So right about here, I'm going to target, throw, backflip, target this forward one, then target the head. Alright, so again, what I did there, just going to recap now, um, was... How do I put this? So I was walking back, so I threw them, which reset the fuse. And they didn't blow up, which means they could come back to me. So in that time, I went back to the fourth plank, made sure I was facing forward so that the bomb would end up on my left side. Um, and I was targeting so that I could just press A to throw it, and then just immediately backflip after to give myself some space. And what that's going to end up doing is going to put the bombs in such a situation where I can target the one that's close to me, and then target the Baba head, the, the middle head here. Um, and so that, that way it'll hit the, um, it's going to hit the, the head, but the other one gets caught up in the boomerang, which means its fuse gets reset, which is important. Um, and so essentially what this is going to do is this is going to knock him down the first time, and then, uh, the other bomb will have its fuse reset. So now I'm going to actually see up a little and then, uh, turn to the right in order to go ahead and aim for where I need to throw the bomb again, just reset its fuse while I'm taking down the head. Um, so we'll see that. So, all right, so this is basically, the, the angle I had there was pretty much where you want to aim. You want to, you don't want to be aiming too far to the right. Um, and you probably should wait a little longer before throwing it like I did, but if you get the jump slash quick spin, that's fine. Um, so essentially you throw it over this way and it's going to refuse its uh, fuse, it's going to reset its fuse and so that gives me enough time to um, get the first hit and then be able to attack him with the bomb the second time. So we're going to pull out the sword, do a jump slash quick spin, alright, and you'll see the, the bomb is already getting close to me. Um, this is why you want to give yourself a little more time than I did, because this is dangerously close to the quick spin blowing up the bomb. It shouldn't blow up the bomb, but anyways. Um, so now he's going to go back up in the air, and I can see up and immediately throw the bomb at his head, essentially. So this should hit. Um, and this is going to go ahead and knock him down, because he's in a vulnerable state right now, since he just got hit. Um, that's why this works, and I don't have to, like, back up and do the same thing as I did the first time. Uh, but anyways, so I'm gonna go ahead and back up to about here. And if I go ahead and keep targeting, I can just do a jump slash quick spin right there. Like that, essentially. Um, if you... It, yeah, and it's, like, the left side of the third plank. Maybe a little bit further back than where I was, and a little bit more to the left. Um, and that basically allows you to um, to go ahead and if you just continue targeting the whole time as he's landing you can do a jump slash quick spin instead of 
basically having to either quick spin twice, do a full combo, or to do a finishing blow, all of which are slow. Um, so that's just a fast way of doing hookless. But yeah, that's that's pretty much it. It's really not hard. It just takes a little practice. I mean, the, the inputs are a little unnatural. Um, so yeah. So we're gonna do that one time fast, I think. Do that one time fast, just so that you can see it more fluidly. Um, but yeah. Let's see. All right, so again, I'm gonna target the middle one, get the left head. I'm gonna target from left to right, these two on the left here. Then try to target the right one while they're coming to me. Basically walk over to the right like that um, while holding the boomerang. We don't want to let go of the boomerang button. You hold it so that you drop the bomb and uh, you're moving away from the bombs. Then you target the other one and throw. And you knew it faster than that. It's just like I just wanted to show that that way. Alright, so now I'm going to back up well. Uh, targeting and throwing immediately. Gonna go to the fourth plank. Target, throw. I botched it, of course I did. Alright, this is gonna blow both of them up. But you get the idea, basically. <laughs> I don't know how that... Normally, if you're targeting, you would just throw instead of... I don't know, whatever. <laughs> I tried. <laughs> uh, but yeah... We're gonna do this one more time, just because I can't just not get it correctly. <laughs> That's such a dumb way to mess up. I mean, okay, this, this is pretty easy, but like... Even though I mess this up occasionally. Like, it's not super easy. But once you get, like, the unnatural movements down, then it's not that bad. So like that, let's see, I'm going to do the skin. <laughs> Try not to make this video too long, but I don't, I'm not good at editing, so that failed attempt's just going to have to be in there. <laughs> so again, we're going to go to the right side of the fourth plank. And all of this is, like, relatively lenient. Alright, there we go. And that was how you do that fluidly. So, yeah. That's, um, Ookless. I think I explained that well enough. Hopefully that helps people who don't understand how to do it from just random descriptions. I don't think that'll help, but maybe. <laughs> I don't know. I, I always just had trouble um, learning from the text description, so. Anyways, yeah. There you go. Hopefully people that are l newly learning the game won't be intimidated by this. It's really not hard. See you go.